Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to be discussing a Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon theory. This theory is about the multiverse in the Pokemon Sun and Moon game, alongside the games itself, and the entire storylines of any other game. So let's get started here by mentioning UB1. UB1 is a interesting Pokemon. It's similar to a squid in shape, but it also has the body shape of a human, which is actually to, like it's actually said in the post on the uh, Pokemon website that it is similar in movement to a human. So that is very interesting to note, and on more mentioning of UB1, once it's shown in the Japanese trailer of Pokemon Sun and Moon, it's shown exiting some sort of portal. What I personally think is that this portal is some sort of wormhole or some sort of passage between universes that allows UB1 for some reason to get from the other universe to this universe to either warn about some events or say something that's important in the storyline. I'm not exactly sure, but UB1 might play a huge role in this game where it's coming from another universe trying to warn about an event that happened in the other universe already that might happen in this universe that it doesn't want to happen in order to like change the path of the future in the universe it's entering. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is that UV1 is from another universe tr trying to affect changes in the universe that it just entered. Next thing I want to mention is the fact that the games like Pokemon Sun and Moon have a different day and night cycle. So basically, once it's day in one game, it is 12 hours ahead, meaning that it's most likely night in the other game. What I personally think about this is that the games themselves are set in different universes, which overall show that not only is the game itself going to be different in universe from the main games, like uh, all the games that already came out, but also different in universe to itself. But we're going to be talking about that more soon in this video. Hey guys, Pixel here, and I'm just here to say that this wouldn't be the first time that Pokemon messed around with its multiverse. So let's mainly talk about the fact that all games prior to Pokemon X and Y have absolutely no mention of Mega Evolution. And then just out of the blue in Pokemon X and Y, Mega Evolutions just appear. So what Pixel is saying can be taken back to about 3,000 years before what actually occurred in any of the main story games. So back then there was a trainer named AZ who had a Floette and then like a war started in that time period and Floette was sent off to battle. Floette was sadly killed in that battle so AZ was very devastated from that and decided he was going to develop a large machine in order to bring Floette back to life and in order for that machine to work millions of Pokemon had to be killed and in the game's Pokemon X and Pokemon Y the machine was actually turned on which destroyed the lives of so many Pokemon and in the end brought Floette back but with what had to occur for that to happen it was it was a very very sad aspect of the story all right, cool dude, but I was just briefly mentioning that. I thought this theory video was in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and not X and Y. It will be, Pixel. Just give me some time, I'm getting to that. All right, well, in relation to the whole AZ situation that you explained, and the fact that he created that machine to bring Floet back to life, and that causing, like, separate paths or separate dimensions, that's a pretty cool idea, and, um, one universe where the machine was used and there could be one where it wasn't or multiple where it wasn't who knows which could lead to the separation of the games that have mega evolutions and the games that don't but what i'm curious about is how does this like play into pokemon sun and moon all right well for those who haven't seen all of the release trailers for pokemon sun and moon up till now not a single new mega evolution has been revealed so, what people might initially think from this is like, hey, the games are back to the original storyline, not the storyline that occurred in X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but there's something very, very, very different about these games. First off, 
A bunch of new ideas and move types have been introduced, which makes me think that this is definitely not the same storyline as the games prior to X and Y. So one of those ideas that have been released is that there are no longer Pokemon gyms, which really wouldn't make sense if the entire game was set in the same storyline as the games prior to X and Y. This mainly being due to the fact that if there was a standardized gym like layout or gym type throughout the entirety of the regions, it would make sense that it would stick with all of the regions like it had prior to that. So the fact of it being different makes me think that it is definitely not in the same universe. And also the release of the new Z moves, which is something that again, was never shown in any of the games prior makes me think that once again it's set in a completely different universe to any of the other games wait but if you're saying that do you mean wait are, do you really mean that this game is completely separate entirely to any of the other storylines that have been going on in all the other pokemon games I mean, that's sort of entirely what I'm saying. I mean, look at all the evidence that points to this being true. The game having some similarities, but a lot of differences with any of the other previously released games. The game also having a Pokemon that may literally be able to travel through different universes. And then the differences between the two games themselves, like Sun and Moon, neither of them have the same events occurring at the same time as was shown in one of the newly released trailers, where one event occurs differently in one game than it does in the other one, which shows that they are on different multiverses, like they're in different universes from one another due to the events unfolding differently. All, like, all of these signs aren't only showing that the games themselves, like previously stated, are different in universe, but that in overall, it is separate of any of the other universes that any of the games have been set in prior. Well, well wait, 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 I think you're getting a little bit too far-fetched here. I have, I have some evidence. What about that, that like strange souvenir thing you got in Pokemon X and Y? It was like this tiki head. It was totally a hint to Pokemon Sun and Moon that Pokemon Sun and Moon was in the same universe. Come on, dude, try harder. What do you mean, what about the strange souvenir in Pokemon X and Y? That has nothing to do with this. The fact that it exists, like, changes nothing to this theory. It just shows that in Pokemon X and Y, the region already existed, so people knew about the region. It just wasn't exactly shown. Like, it wasn't specified. But now it's being specified, not only, like, as a new region, but also a separate universe. So to put my ideas together again, I'm just going through the fact that these games will most likely have their own separate universes in comparison to the overall extension of the previous games, but again, that's just a theory and we'll only really be able to know if that's true or only be able to know a lot more about the games themselves and the whole like their whole place in the multiverse once the games are out. So I'll probably make another video once the games are out, like putting what is learned from the entirety of the games together alongside what is known about any games prior, and then we'll see if this theory actually played out or if it was completely incorrect. Uh, I, I guess that kind of works as a theory, cause but um, I, I gotta say my theory is a lot more solid. You should check it out on. My channel picks plays. All right, that's that's enough self-promotion. Anyways, back to Proxins. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this theory. It took me a while to think about it because it's so far-fetched, but at the same time, it's so interesting that this could be a very, very likely possibility. So anyways, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Pokemon and a bunch of other games. Okay, and also, remember that this was just a theory, a Pokemon theory. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the description now down below if you want to find the links to all the Pokemon trailer videos that I used 
in this video here i really do hope you guys did enjoy this of course if you guys do want to see more theory videos please leave a comment down below and also if you want to see some more theory videos that i've already made click on this playlist here that just appeared on screen and you'll be sent to that and you can watch a couple of the previous theory videos i've made and uh you should you should totally click on the my on my face as creepy as it sounds because that will bring you to my channel and you can check out some more of my content